Kevin Frazier and Greg Anthony in the studio. They're underway in the Big D, and it's all about Sacramento, Greg. Well, as my main man Yogi Berra would say, it's deja vu all over again. 17-10, your score. Peja, Bibby, and Weber with all 17 points for Sacramento. But let's head back for the finish in Detroit. Those of you that have been watching Detroit beat Philadelphia and over, has got another rebound. They're playing well on both ends of the floor. Still playing well on that end of the floor. Two-pointers and four three-pointers. But Nick Van Exel does a great job of driving the ball right to Keon Clark. Dirk Nowitzki, he's not the Harlem Globetrotters with a passing display they put on. And, and they started out that way again tonight. Van Exel long range, Nick Van Exel. He has played so much better in this first half than he did in the entire game the other night. LaFrance takes it. He wanted to give it up. Three. He finally missed a three. It was so easy for Sacramento early. Van Exel, the other end, and he got it! He claimed the three off the front of the iron, and nowitzki has got his eighth board. Van Exel <laughs> going for the kill! Tonight, 5.33 to go in the half. Dallas on a 17-4 run. Van Exel, a three there, and then trying to stick a dagger in the gut. Knocks down another. It's 64-47, to 47, Matt. Or they're going to have to go and, and get something on the inside from uh, the, the post-up player. Oh, Nick Van Exel's just feeling it. Nick and shots. Nick Van Exel has come off the bench. He's hit his last three three-pointers. He wants to finish this thing in the half. Sacramento has foolishly gone away from Chris Weber, and it's absolutely taken him totally out of this ball game. And it's easy early, and they thought the whole game was going to be yeah, like that. Good point. And Dallas has uh, some different ideas about the, you know, how to Finley. <laughs> I thought he was going to jack it. This Van Exel will. might. <laughs> might? <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Here's what Kareem's talking about when he's not knocking down threes. He's working on that little spin in the paint. And he has got the crowd going nuts in Dallas. Well, I think Bill was talking about had to, had to do with Dallas being deflated. You know, they just lost their spirit and their heart and their competitive uh, fire. This little guy's uh, giving it back to him, isn't he? That he is. You'd think that they would put Doug Christie on him. A lot of teams like to go big in the backcourt against Dallas. Nick, you guys went small because you thought it would help you with your defense. Seems to have helped at the other end a little, too. Well, we, what we wanted to do, we wanted to try to push the tempo. We knew that we probably at home can use our transition game, and that's what we're doing. We're holding them to one shot, and we're getting out in transition to get some easy baskets. When it was 20 to 10 after four minutes, did you think it was a repeat of game one? Uh-oh, you know, that's what, that's what I said, uh-oh. But then we came out, and I can tell by the way the guys looked, they had that emotion, they had that energy, and I knew we would be, we would be all right. You ever been part of anything like this, a run like that, 35-point swing in less than a half? Unbelievable. But, you know, Sacramento's not going to give up. We got to go in this locker room and prepare for the second half because we know that they're still in the game. All right, Nick, thanks very much. Good luck in the second half. Back to the game. And run they did. The beauty of basketball is that even the little guys, when the shots are going down, can beat anybody they want. It was the Dallas Mavericks who were questioned about their defensive capabilities. It was all she wrote against the Kings last year in the series. That was also the game that Peja Stoyakovic sprained his ankle. Van Exel off his own miss. Doug Christie, they want him to shoot every single time. Van Exel got the roll. Underneath is Finley. Did Rick Adelman wants to keep a tight rotation, but that guy's just too good. Here's Van Exel. Having the hot hand and continuing to do so. Akovic trying to back in and now fading over Finley and missed the shot. Bonnie Divac strips it. Let the fans catch their <laughs> breath. <laughs> That's right. Van Exel oh. tries another. Oh. He got another! <laughs> Foul. Sacramento's falling apart. And now they got Chris Weber in the locker room. Van Exel just doing everything. Oh. Off. Think Turgaloo's going to stay with the Sacramento Kings long term? Well, you're talking about last year compared to this year as Van Hexel. He's thrown up every kind of shot. They're all going in. There's Chris Weber talking to Vladi Divac on the bench. Finley. 
there, a little less conservative for Bill. At some point, these guys are going to say, hey, I'll play some ball. Jeff Beatry's going to have to. Come on, Nick, from there, from there. There it goes for Van Exel, and there goes another one. <laughs> to Larry Berger, 157. We might have a shot. We need 32 more in eight minutes. Nick Van Exel is pretty darn big himself. He's bigger than those guys. Tonight he has been. So Nick, who already has a career playoff high of 35, I'd already circled him in the book, but we got to add some now. Time when we had 83 first half points, which was an NBA record for one team. Funderburk gets.